People who are Sukuna fans, I really do feel bad for you because this chapter, you're just getting roasted because every social media is continuously calling out Sukuna as a fraud based on what happened towards the end of this chapter as he summoned Magaraga to go on ahead and save him. And I can't blame Sukuna because you are trying to win. You're not trying to take any L's or anything else. But in this chapter, he kind of does look sus but we go on ahead and we focus on the beginning of the chapter where we left off after gojo is seen to have a nosebleed but he goes on ahead and wipe it away now this could indicate that the fact that he's pretty much exhausted at this point because this man continuously continued doing domain expansion reverse curse technique and then consistently using techniques like red and purple so of course like his body is just kind of like hitting its limits so at this time gojo he's just ignoring it because this is a huge big battle so both sakuna and gojo they were able to do their domain expansion at the same time once again and it's implied that sakuna he knows how to regenerate his burnt out curse technique by using reverse curse technique which it kind of speculating that Sukuna probably learned it when Gojo did it to him in the past couple of chapters when Gojo was able to activate red or they probably speculate that Sukuna probably already know how to do it but it doesn't matter anyways Sukuna he knows how to do the technique so kusasabe he says that during the three minutes of sakuna destroying gojo's domain from the outside gojo will have to deal with the damages so that sakuna can't maintain his domain because the three times that they did their domain sakuna was able to destroy the barrier no matter how much gojo was able to change the condition and that's why we kind of see gojo he's just going loose he's just going ham on sakuna throwing so many punches and kicks he's just going at him like a ravaged dog because he's just trying to win this domain battle so shoko says that why are you trying to make it be unfavorable to gojo because gojo if he does unlimited void just for even one second sukuna will be out of commission and his malevolent shrine will collapse within the three minutes so she's just like gojo will definitely will win and as we see in the battle in the domain Gojo is just going ham on Sukuna. He's throwing barrages of punches, kicks. He's throwing Sukuna into like the shrine and Sukuna. He, he's loving this. He's loving this. Like he's loving this hand to hand combat and everything. And even though he's able to block some of the attacks that Gojo is throwing at him, but they could just continuously on fighting until we see the shrine of Sukuna collapsing once again. And we see that Sukuna's face is all messed up as everyone is just in disbelief and cheering that Gojo won again. And of course, this is the same results what happened last time. So Gojo, he goes on ahead and he punched Sukuna into like this kind of like um, pillar as they both do a domain expansion. But we see that Sukuna is trying to heal himself and it seems as if that it is too late because Gojo's domain seems a little bit earlier because of Sukuna was healing his body and was trying to heal his curse technique late, which was 0.01 seconds, then he gets exposed by the ultimate void as Gojo is able to punch the hole that Sukuna has in his little abdomen and we see that his shrine is disappearing and because of that inside of Gojo's domain two minutes and 40 seconds after the last domain then the malevolent shrine is actually collapsed and then we see Sukuna is able to get the full effect of the ultimate void as his brain overload by the knowledge and blood is coming out of his mouth and Gojo is going straight to Sukuna as he says that he's going to crush his heart his lungs and his liver but as soon as Gojo is getting near Sukuna Sukuna he goes on ahead and he activate his treasure which is Maga Raga 
Mahuraga. I know I'm going to butcher his name, but so bear with me. So he summons Mahuraga, and at this point, Gojo is shitting bricks because this man knows that this is the one being that he is going to have a hard time. So, of course, Gojo, he's going to try to do the short hit effect on Mahuraga, but Mahuraga was just like, screw your domain, and he goes on ahead and shatter it as it's showcased that Maharaga, he's able to adapt to the ultimate void. So Gojo is just in shock to see that Maharaga is able enough to pretty much tank his ultimate void technique. And we just see Maharaga, he is just smiling, just grinning. Like, just look at that grin. That grin knows that, oh yeah, your technique ain't gonna work and he's going to whoop that ass because that grin is something that you do not want to see when your enemy is showcasing that during battle. So, of course, Mahuraga, oh, he's ready. He wants all the smoke. So that's just how the chapter ends as we see that Gojo is looking stunned and shocked because his ultimate void, his domain expansion, is not going to work against Mahuraga. And he's going to have to figure out another way to how to defeat him and of course, I do speculate that Sukuna probably already had the wheel and he probably hid the wheel in his shadows, which means that he will be like kind of like the, the wheel itself, because when Gojo was using all of these techniques and everything else, the wheel was kind of like adapting to it. So when he does summon Maharaga, Maharaga can just do all of the work because he's already adapted and immune to Gojo's attacks because of the fact that Gojo was automatically was just hitting Sukuna and fighting Sukuna. In the meantime, Sukuna was having like the wheels effect actually activated during this whole battle. Um, if it does make sense, if it doesn't, um, you know, well, I'm sorry, but that's just the best way I can explain it. But either way, like, is this a smart move for Sukuna to actually do this? And this was just 100% genius. Like, Gojo and Sukuna are playing chess, not checkers, they're playing chess. And this is is just a great example of two best sorcerers who are able to use their techniques and of course the gojo stands and people who hate sukuna and they're calling him frost is going crazy at twitter which is very very entertaining but you can't really blame sukuna because sukuna even though he has the body of megami and he knows how to use all of his techniques of the ten shadows this is just a very overpowered technique so of course this is going to be you know a very interesting battle and we're probably going to see gojo is able enough to go on ahead and battle and destroy maharaga and then we're probably going to see sukuna use other cursed techniques that we've never seen before because i do believe that this battle is going to be a while it's probably going to take months until we see who's the clear-cut winner but we're probably going to see sukuna probably win but other than that, let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter and what is your favorite moment in this chapter and would you guys think corrections or anything else. Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and remember, always be decent. This is the Monotone Man, and hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here. Peace.